Welcome to Edibles. This is my cooking show where I cook things that are edible. So today we are going to be cooking with portobello mushrooms as well as a secret ingredient of goat cheese. Before we get too much further, I'm going to preheat the oven because we have to preheat it to 325. So that'll give me some time to explain some things before we get cooking. So you may be thinking, Zach, why are you making a cooking show or why are you acting like you have a cooking show when you just have a YouTube channel and you're just kind of doing stuff? But the reason is because I actually really like to cook and I think it's pretty fun to be cooking and ever since I was at college, you know, I kind of spent a lot of time eating not so great food and not having the ability to cook. And so once I got home, I decided to start cooking more things that were healthier and things that I enjoyed more and things that I enjoyed the flavor of. And that led me to making this video. And so I'm really excited to be cooking and showing you some cooking because it's kind of fun and because I think you might enjoy it. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. But now let me show you the ingredients. So today we'll be cooking with two medium large portobello mushrooms, four ounces of goat cheese, six ounces of mozzarella, a handful of baby bella mushrooms, but you can also use shiitake or woody or whatever type of mushrooms you like to put in it, one shallot, two tablespoons of olive oil, and as an additional option you can add pepper, basil, or oregano to add a little bit of extra flavor. The first step is to take the portobello mushrooms and wash them off in the sink to ensure that all dirt and grime is off the mushroom because they don't usually come incredibly clean. Next you want to break off the stem to allow for more ingredients to sit inside the mushroom once you pull it out of the oven. From there you should shake out the mushroom to ensure that the water is released because all the residual water will end up leaking out of the mushroom while in the oven. Next, place the portobello mushrooms on the baking pan and then put them in the oven for 15 minutes. What's up everybody? Welcome to Food Trivia with Zach. This is the part of the show where I give you food trivia and you find out if you know a lot about food and food facts. This should be an interesting part of the video because I feel like since it's my show, I can do whatever I want and so I think that food videos sometimes get boring around this phase and so I decided to make an interactive food trivia game show. And so basically how this is gonna work is I'm gonna present a question and then I'm gonna post a card up in, up there in the corner and then it'll be a poll and then you can select your answer and I'll give you five seconds and then the poll will, I guess, stop or something and then I will reveal the answer so you can find out if you're right or not. Question number one. Which of the following vegetables is not one of the ingredients of V8 juice? Beet, carrot, spinach, or cabbage? One, two, three, four, five. The correct answer is cabbage. Okay, so the next question is, which country produces the most potatoes? The United States, Ireland, Russia, or China? One, two, three, four, five. The correct answer is China. Surprise, surprise, I know you probably didn't expect that, but yes, the correct answer is China. Okay, the next question is, marzipan is made with which kind of nut? Almond, cashew, pecan, or walnut? One, two, three, four, five. The correct answer is almond. Thank you for watching another trivia with Zach. Let's get back to cooking and get this recipe on the road. While the portobello mushrooms are in the oven for the first 15 minutes, we are going to be searing up in a pan the garlic, the mushrooms, and the shallots, all just to get them ready to put them into the mushroom. And I 
stir fry my vegetables on high heat for about five minutes and a teeny bit of olive oil and it ended up working out really well i did it until the mushrooms started to shrivel up and become much smaller i think that's kind of my way to judge and when the onions were becoming caramelized during this, I took the mushrooms out of the oven and then started putting the cheese on. I cut the mozzarella up into small pieces and placed them all around the mushroom and then I filled in the holes with the goat cheese. After that, I came in with the vegetables and topped it off and then threw it back in the oven. So right now it is in the oven for the second time. I'm putting it in for about 10 minutes and it's just gonna cook. It's gonna let all the flavors mix together. It's gonna let the cheese melt. It's gonna let everything become how we want it. And so the goal is just for the cheese to be melted and we'll kind of check back on it at 10 minutes, make sure it's all melted, and then we'll test it out and hopefully it'll taste amazing and be a great episode of Edibles. We have a special lineup of guests to come taste the food, also known as me and my mom. Look at what we have come up with. So the last step in the process is to plate the food and collect it. So we have to place the nice mushrooms in the center there. And now let's get some fresh herbs and then we can top it and eat. I'm still surprised by how easy it is to make this meal because it tastes just so good for how easy it is. All you really have to do is cut some stuff up and throw something in the oven. There's no complicated steps to it. It's a pretty simple meal. And honestly, for the longest time, I didn't really like portobello mushrooms or goat cheese. And so it's interesting that I really love this dish. And so if you decide to try this meal out, if you decide to try and make it at home, then definitely shoot me an Instagram DM or shoot me a picture, maybe tag me in a photo on Instagram, something like that, so you can share with me. I'd love to see if somebody else makes this meal. It'd be really cool to see the twist you put on it as well. Obviously, I'm not a professional chef. I just like having fun with cooking, so please don't criticize my skills. I'm trying to improve, but I think it was fun making this. I hope that you also enjoyed watching this, and I hope to see you again soon. Live happy and be healthy. I'll see you later.